Okay guys, welcome back. I know, two alter things in a day, right? But we don't talk too much about Loki's goddess energy, and he definitely has that goddess side to his energy, her energy, their energy, whatever pronoun makes you comfortable. Um, this is actually a statue that all the gods and goddesses pass around. It can belong to Bastet, it can belong to Sigan, it belongs to whoever needs it at the moment. They kind of like all love it because she's got all the cats giving her love. They're all curling up her in, you know, sometimes it's like a good listen. We like to think of our uh, love goddesses as sexy and, you know, sometimes you can still be that homebody. You can still have that hearth goddess energy and still be super sexy. Um, I dressed her candle for Loki. Uh, you know, I don't call her like Lokina or anything. You could if it made you comfortable, but, you know, she's, she's still Loki to me. Um, there is honey on there, there is massage oil, there is pink glitter. I have a little sugar for sweetness of life. You know, kind of ring marriage pillow, which makes sense. And still have the honey on the altar, and I have a heart, because you know, heart. Um, love, lust, passion, heart, romance. Um, a goddess that can cover, you know, more romantic, more mature feelings, she can also cover um, enduring relationships. I don't think they get enough credit, but it's kind of like that balance of, yeah, I'm a homemaker, yeah, I'm a hearth goddess, but I'm still super sexy, so don't you forget it. And of course, the snake for that female feminine energy. Um, I had no idea who was coming through in the earrings. Again, for Loki, I have so many aspects. I've been really blessed. These are actually for the path that's openly gay, and that is all that path is, openly gay male with me. Um, but he, she, depending on the pronoun they feel like, um, will give these to other aspects. So it's, you know, it's all the same God, don't get me wrong. It's all the same God, but they can be very, very different. And we still have the God energy in the background. It's always going to be there. Um, you know, when you're working with Loki, he can terrify you by switching genders, like, very suddenly. Not that it's, like, terrifying, but you were just getting used to, like, working with a lady, then all of a sudden the dudes are, and he's like, hey, baby, how are you? <laughs> so, you know, he's gonna get me for that later. Let's light her candle, if I can get it to light on camera. And I, like, didn't even check if this is recording. Okay, and again, if you're doing anything that has sugar, sugar is an accelerant. So honey is basically an accelerant. Be super, super careful. Again, with glitter, if it's super flammable, please be careful. Goddess does not want you burning your house down. Um, that candle may go out and then, yep, and then come right back on. I thought it might. Um, depending on what you put on your candle, some things are natural flame retardants, some things are accelerants. Um, if you mix the two, you'll get mixed results, but please learn what does what when you're making candles. Okay, my camera's going all over the place, but yeah. I figured I would share that because I could feel feminine energy coming through. And I really, really was not sure who it was, but we got the candle going nice. The heart, the jewelry, you know, the snake. The, the lovely statue, they all pass it around. And that's a thing to remember. A god or goddess can come to you in a non-traditional form. Like, if you work with a love goddess, you expect her to be, like, a super sexy bombshell, right? Or whatever, you know, you find super sexy. And she can come to you as this homespun lady that seems to have no sexual energy at all, just a bunch of cats, you know, atypical cat lady, right, ladies? And... It is still there. The the energy, the romance, and everything is still there because, you know, women and goddesses are complex creatures. She has all these, you know, sensual, sexual felines all around her, so, you know, give her credit. Um, and again, honey. And sugar to that side, the massage oil, glitter, blah, blah. So, I hope you guys have liked this. I was just kind of inspired to share this with you. Because Loki and I have been, again, talking about, you know, other kinds of workings. And 
this is what really struck home for me working with this aspect uh, and of course the other ladies are present but we just kind of wanted to you know focus on her because it has been a while since we have worked together and it's been a very long time since we've discussed the goddess aspect I think because some many people get caught up in the male aspect of Loki they forget that she's there and they forget that she is good to work with and you know she has just as many paths as he does so, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.